here. Jesse, hmm? what's a New Year's resolution? What's a what? New Year's resolution. Can you sit up, please? Um. Um. Hmm. I don't know. Do you know when people set their goals at the beginning of a new year that that's mm -hmm. called a New Year re New Year's resolution? Hmm. Oh. Okay, what about it? Have you ever set a goal? Um, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Never? <laughs> no. Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> if you could accomplish one thing in 2021, what would it be? Hmm. Possibilities are literally endless. Hmm. 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 I seriously don't know. Complete something or do something you've never done before? Hmm. Or would it be like to get a specific grade in a certain class? Finish a book? When you turn 18, your New Year's resolution could be to jump out of an airplane. <laughs> or it could be like, ah, get an A in math next semester. This may not be one, but... Be the uh, try to be the guest game best gamer in the world. I mean that's <laughs> that is is not really measurable. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't really make it a goal since you couldn't measure it. Like if you wanted to be the champion of like a specific Pokemon game or something like that, or you know something specific, we could measure that would be measurable. Um. I don't know that would be a 2021 New Year's resolution. I don't know that you could accomplish that within next year. Um, that might take a few years to accomplish. Probably. Hmm. So you, you want to focus on your gaming. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Okay, so how's it going, huh? Hello, Alan. Hi. Do you know why we're here? Not a clue. Video for Tuesday. Makes sense. Yes. As it is Monday night. <laughs> it is. We normally film these out sometimes like a week, two weeks in advance. But it's the holidays and I'm drinking apple juice. I just didn't have an. But. Ho holidays, it's reasonable. You, you're allowed to put things off during the holidays. Spend time with family. We did have a really good Christmas, guys. Via Zoom. We did, <laughs> yes. We did. I really enjoyed our Christmas. It was a very nice Christmas. It was very, a nice, intimate, our family just enjoying spending time with kids. Minus Christmas, <laughs> Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve was a disaster. There was a bit of an incident on Christmas Eve that involved a lot of water. And a lot of yelling. A lot of water and yelling. Happy Christmas Eve, dear! Our entire bathroom is flooded. I was in a good mood. I've had I've been having a good day. The entire bathroom floor is completely flooded. Good job with the hamper of dirty towels and just chucking them on the floor. Never would have thought of that. I would have thought about the towels like in the hamper after I ran out of clean towels. But never once would I have just chucked them on the floor. And that's it. So you just flushed it once and didn't yes. hold it down. Not hold it down. Okay. All right. Get the dog out of here. And also it's leaking in your bathroom. Are you? I like Max Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, yes, you do. Do uh, you understand that the house flooded really quickly? Daddy, I like Max Santa. Daddy, I really... Not once should the water have gone this quickly. Yeah. Anyways, this video. <laughs> this video, we wanted to talk about kind of getting to the New Year's resolution theme. But I really wanted to talk about how we plan out our year and our weeks and our months. Like yes. how we keep our family organized and stay on schedule. And do you know how we do that? 
You marry an Ashley. <laughs> and you buy her a... Aaron Conrad Planner. Yes. I, I have a thing for the lifestyle planners. And I've been using them for several years. There's one, two, three, we're throwing them up. four, five, six. There's a few more upstairs. You get the picture. I've been using these for several years. One for each year, people. We don't require that many. <laughs> per year. No, this is one for year. This one's for the dog. This one's for Ashley. <laughs> this one's for a wolf. <laughs> Actually, just because this is a totally different year, I'm going to use this one as an example because there's no personal information about doctor's appointments and addresses and stuff like that on it, like I do in the current one. So basically, we start off the beginning of the year. We'll start there. January 1st. No. Actually, you start before then. With... I didn't fill it out last year. It's blank. <laughs> Crushing it. Um, so the Erin Conrad planners at the beginning, they all have these blank pages. I think it's because I reused the one from the year before because I didn't get to accomplish very much. Wait a minute. Just, oh, no, that is this year. Okay, well, let's look at last year. Sure. This one's filled in. This one is. This one's filled in. Okay, nothing, nothing inappropriate there. Um, <laughs> I can't, probably not inappropriate. Like, nothing personal that could compromise the you're, safety you're of our family. <laughs> now I feel gypped. <laughs> Looking at you. Oh. At the beginning of each year, minus last year, I write down my goals. Like my big dreams, my big goals that I want to accomplish. Usually that then inspires Alan to do the same thing. Don't ask me where my list is though. I, I lose it. Do you write them down? I don't think you No, write they're them down. all up here. So I forget about them and then I feel like I did great during the year. Well, I don't need to tell you guys that if you write them down, you're much more likely to accomplish them. Look at them being marked off. And actually two of these are marked off. Well, what I accomplished this year in 2020, so that took a little while, and that one took a little while. So like, a lot of these took some time. First, I plan out my year. I set my goals. I know what I'm working towards. On this one, if you want to be nosy, this one was a bachelor's degree, and I did get it accomplished. Okay, see, it sounds like he's mocking me, but he's not because I am a first-generation college graduate, which I am very proud of. And I worked really hard at my bachelor's degree and my associate's yes. degree. I was a full-time employee while going to school for full-time and managing the kids. Like, it, it was not easy. Like Very proud of this one. Thank you. Thank you. I worked really hard to do that. He was very supportive yeah. for the bachelor's. You weren't there for the associate's, but... For the, yeah. re for the record, people, this is a proper clause. This is a sarcastic clap. There's a difference, yes. So the other one was Mrs. West Virginia. Yeah. Which I've had on there for, what, three years now? I don't even know how many years it's been on here. But I That's finally got to accomplish that this year as Mrs. West Virginia. Yep. So in 2021, I will be going to nationals. Yay! Which is very exciting. So that is on my new calendar. Being a play. I actually won up that. I was in a play and a movie, so really accomplished that one and then yoga and exercise mm. see i was too vague i wasn't very specific there did not did not be accomplish specific that. people it helps be specific yeah. traveling we did all of them except for two two out of one two three four five six two, out, I mean, two we did we did five out of seven i can't do math this late we we did five out of seven. So places um, pre-pandemic people. We're we're talking pre-pandemic. Yeah, that was. So the really cool thing about this planner is they have that spot where you can write down all of your goals, and then at the beginning of every month, they have a monthly calendar that you can keep track of whatever you want on here. I choose to keep track of some. 
girly stuff on here. Um, you can also keep track of finances. A lot of people watching this are female. That's true. So that's a great spot to keep track of monthly things that you would have to do, like pay rent or something like that. So here's a week. Sorry, I had to find one that didn't have like doctor's offices names and addresses and things like that on them or something that, you know, would be private. So this week, oh, this is kind of a good example. That doesn't have that. So I schedule out, I schedule out everything. As in, these are work hours, these were my class schedules, and then these were anything that we do in the evening. I like the week that breaks it down by the three categories. You can also get an hourly with Erin Conrad, or just like the normal lines, whatever you're comfortable with, this is what I like, because of the fact that I can either break it down morning, afternoon, evening events, or I can do it like work, school, appointments, any way I want to divide it up, I can, and I love that option. And then as you can see down here, I also, <laughs> I've got, <laughs> what is, oh, I just, that's Alan's goals. <gasps> I put mine 2019 up. personal goals. Let me see. Let me. Oh my God. Didn't meet a single one of them, people. <laughs> that one. literally just fell out of here. I put mine on a sticky note, shove it in the back of the book, and forget about <laughs> it. Uh, and that's how not to do goals. Eat healthier. Nope. Have better posture. Nope. As you can see right now in the video. <laughs> Meditate daily. Nope. Exercise four times a week. Nope. Be a better husband and father. Yes! He's very good at that. Um, Could be better. You have your time for a 5K. Yep, nope. And... Be more decisive. Be more decisive. Nope. <laughs> there you go. Let's change that date to 2021. Then we have doctors, <laughs> doctors cards, and then we have grocery list also falling out of here. Yeah, we keep everything in here. So, week wise, I'm sorry that this is all over the place. It's late at night. It's um, late. Kids are in bed. Dogs are over there whining. We'll get through this. You get the point. Hopefully you're at least a little bit entertained. <laughs> at the bottom of this, this is where we keep what our meals are. Yes, the lovely meal plan. So on here we did like cheesy veggie soup and bread. Yes, I wrote in Firehouse because we like that. Um, we used to do that on Tuesday nights. <gasps> they had the kids special. Kids, kids used yep. to eat free. Yep. Um, Parmesan and chicken rice. Everything was written down on there, and then I would do our grocery shopping based on what's on here. Oh, look. File taxes. That's April 15th, people. Okay, well, this all has names and stuff I can't use. On this side, they have little lines. This one's actually a post-it night over top of it. As you can see, like normally, it's got little lines over here. What I like to do on this side of it is write down anything that I have to do that week, whether it be cleaning, whether it be picking up or dropping off something at the post office, or this is a lot of cleaning. Or dry cleaning, you know, that kind, of, that kind of stuff. Do you really have dry cleaning? Let me know down below. Do you pick up dry cleaning? I've had Alan do it for me, what, once, twice? Twice. Twice. Oh, twice. 36 Five. years old and I've been to dry cleaners <laughs> twice in my life. I've been a couple times. For dresses. It's like the only reason I go to the dry cleaners. Why else would somebody go to the dry cleaners? Suits. Suits. Never done it. Wow, people are really gonna want to meet you in person. Like, ooh. Don't I clean up very nicely, suit. people. Oh, he cleans up. You may not. No, look you at look it. good in a suit. I look good in a suit. You do. You do look good in a suit. And in, and in a t shirt. Oh, look at this. Thank you. All this right there. I'd look better if I had better posture. <laughs> but I didn't complete my goals. The thing that I really also like about this is in the back, there's also a bunch of blank pages. I like to use that for normally birthday parties or lists, or Christmas time or anything like that. Sorry, I'm like flipping through here. So that one I was keeping track of Olivia's daycare, so I have a whole list here. It's got the name of it on here, so I'm not going to show you guys that. Um, cleaning schedule. Ooh, yeah. That is a lovely little layout of a cleaning schedule there. Which ones to do daily, weekly, monthly. 
So the dailies are done about weekly, the weeklies are done about monthly, yes. the if, monthlies are done about seasonally, these are a, about one off. If you have a cleaning <laughs> schedule that looks like this and you are thoroughly sticking to it, good for you. Good for you. Go, Go. take a day off. No, these are, my, these are the classes that I was taking so I could register for them and then like tuition fees and everything like that and the cost of every book and all of that good jazz. Everything I needed to keep track of for school. Fun, fun. I also have like a Christmas card list. I have all the names written down here and then I numbered them all so I knew how many Christmas cards I had to order and then I marked them off when they were all mailed out or, you know, delivered. So that was a nice use of the back of that. I do it for birthday parties to make sure that I've got everything and then I can reuse it for the next kid's birthday party. It's, it's a good system. It is a good system. So yeah, that's, that is my whole life in the planner. It doesn't really matter if I use the soft bound or the spiral planner. And by the way, I will link the Erin Conrad stuff down below. So if you guys want to check it out, you guys can. I did get to collaborate with her this year, which was a pretty big deal for me. I was very excited about that because again, I've been using her stuff for years. I would highly recommend it. Like I tried, what was it that one year that I tried to get a different planner? Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. returned it. Yeah, that I couldn't work do out it. Well. Like no, and then I had to break down and buy the Aaron Connor planner because it just didn't have. They, they are really nice and we keep it like in a centralized location. Like everyone knows where it is. You never write anything in it. No, occasionally no, you do. But I put it on sticky notes and then put it in there so she doesn't oh, get I mad at me have, about writing stuff in it. I don't have any of those. So, well, look, I can show you one here. Which one's this year? This year. Okay. You can get little sticky notes. So I have stickers. Like here, here's. So, oh, there it goes. <laughs> there it is. Uh, no school for Jesse. And then I stick it on that day. So you actually, these are actual sticky notes, so I can write them on there and stick it on that day. And then what I like about the sticky notes is if it's something that, like, I want to intend to do that day, but if I have to push it back to another day, I use that a lot for homework assignments. Yeah. So that way when I got them done, I could just rip them off and I could move them from day to day if I did get one complete or did not get one complete. I love the option of sticky notes to be able to move it from day to day on something like homework and things like that. And I like the stickers for like no school and things like that. It's really nice to have. The old, the old one that I showed you, um, now they have monthly goals in the layout in the beginning of each month, which I love because I can designate out specific things that I'm wanting to complete or do or accomplish in that month. I find it very helpful to actually write things down. While I'm at the doctor's office, I'll put something in my phone but when I get home, I'll write it down in this planner. And the nice thing about having a central location to write everything down in is if his friends or buddies call him saying, hey, do you wanna go hang out this night? And I am, you know, per se, when I was working, actually outside of the home, um, was at work or something, he could just look in here and be like, oh, you know, nothing's planned on that weekend. It shouldn't be a big deal. And then I put it on a sticky note and put it in there because <laughs> I don't did. write in it. He did not. You don't write in it. I do not write in it. Well, you tried to a couple times and your handwriting was so I bad I couldn't. such horrible handwriting that I don't want to ruin the prettiness of the book. Different colors to coordinate everything. She'll, she'll sit there with like six different colored pens and fill it out. I have a little, a little pen holder of different colored markers and... Jesse's stuff is in one collar, and Olivia's school stuff's in another collar, and dance class is in another collar, and it makes me happy. As long as you're happy. You have no idea? Nope. All right, so this is what it's like to have a normal conversation with me when I'm very tired and all over the place. Welcome to my world, or his world, I should say. I enjoy my world. Mm -hmm. It was important for us to stay committed to our Tuesday videos. If you guys are not aware, we put out new videos every single Tuesday. We've not missed one yet. Nope. <laughs> Regardless of how late it is on a Monday night. Um, a lot of times we'll put out bonus videos. We just put out one on Friday very late at night because it wouldn't upload. <laughs> Yay, YouTube. It was our Christmas morning video with the kids, so that was a lot of fun. Yeah. I'll link it up here if you guys want to watch it. Or this one. I swear, I, I watch myself one. do it. 
Or this one. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, I'm going to remember. One. And then I start filming and I never remember which corner it is when I'm filming. You want them to click it at the end because you want them to watch this whole video because you're watching this whole video, right guys? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, when it Thanks. pops up, you take your finger and you go boop. Okay. Mm -hmm. At the end. At the end. Because <laughs> you'll know this could only get better from here. Sometimes we have really cool bloopers at the end. Yeah. Surprise. Or this whole video is one giant blooper. I would call oh. it a giant blooper. It's just a um, like a train wreck. It's, it's not a train wreck. It's a bit of a train wreck, but no. it's not a dumpster fire. No, it's not a train wreck. It's everywhere. That's what you guys like. <laughs> and you know why it's that way? One, because it's late at night, and two, because she brought me on the camera. That'll do it. Every single time. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for sticking around with us in all of 2020. Or if you're new here this year, thank you for joining us in 2020. And if you have not hit the subscribe button yet, please do so because we really do love our subscribers and we always try to comment back to you guys and we like to get to know you guys too. So if that is something you're interested in, yeah. all this. Let's know like maybe how you organize. Do you use sticky notes that you lose? Because that's what I do. <laughs> hey, you wrote them down. I'm proud of that. Yep. Never to be seen again. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys have a wonderful, safe, and healthy Happy New Year's end of 2021. Bye. Bye. <laughs> click on this video. Will you please click on this video? Come on. Push it. Can you please subscribe? Can you please push that subscribe button? Or for the other video, just gonna press this button. Go on, click this button, or this button, or this button. Well, mostly this button. I would like it if you did.